Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play a game called Hermes, Sybil's Prophecy. Now this is a game published by Oliver Entertainment, played quite a few games from them, I enjoy them quite a lot, and they, their games are usually like a resource gathering game. But what really impresses me is that each one of these games always has something new as opposed to the previous one, which you know, like, the gameplay is not that complicated, so it doesn't always feel like there's going to be something that they can add to it, but they always add something to it, so it's really cool. So let's begin. An iron feather? This cannot be a coincidence. It's the second sign we've seen today. We call the prophecy. Watch for when birds with iron feathers swoop down from above and mute animal begins to speak. Ah. Oh. Surely you don't believe in these old stories. My parents used them to scare me when I misbehaved as a child. Allegedly there is a prophecy that says all the gods will someday become mortal. It's nonsense. And how do you explain the appearance of the talking sheep? This morning a shepherd told me one of his sheep started talking. I also brushed it off as nonsense. But now everything makes sense. The signs are coming true. Come. Come on, the sweater could have come from anywhere. The Sibyls were soothsayers, but not all of their prophecies came through. There's no way all the gods can lose their immortality, that'd be impossible. You can bury your head in the sand if you want to, but rather get the word out and find a shepherd. If any of his sheep have suddenly become chatty, it would be a sign that trouble lies ahead. Wait, you have a bite. Alright. Are you ready to join me in finding out if the gods can lose their immortality? Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna begin our very first level. So if you've never seen another resource gathering game like this, the way this works is that you start off over here with your people and you have your goals on the bottom. We need to collect two cases of jewels. We have them over here and there. We need to plant an olive grove, which is essentially plant this tree over there. Repair the bank, which is here I believe, and tell Artemis about the sign over here. Now we have a timer, so once we click to continue, the timer is going to disappear here and uh, you have to make it before this star in order to get three stars and so on. Up here you have your resources, food, gold, stone and weapons. And you're essentially, the way this works is that you click on something like these stones and you need to pay food and gold to the worker. And then he's going to go and get the stone, he's going to give you the five stone. And this is kind of like how you kind of move around in the map to achieve your goals. So, I'll start this off by moving towards... Oh, there are also hidden objects which you just click on for yourself. And you will immediately get the reward from that, so that's pretty cool. You want to make sure that you do that as much as possible. I'm going to start sending our people around. We currently have two people, so we want to make sure that if possible, always have two things clicked on. So that they're always going to be moving. Now this is an olive tree. Workers can eat its fruit. Okay, let's move in there. No, we have the frames per seconds there. I should have turned it off, but... I hope you forgive me for that. So you wanted to know how many frames per second this game goes in? Well, you can check it over there. <laughs> Alright, we need to repair a bank. This is going to give us a gold. What's really interesting with the bank is that it gives us, uh, first of all, it gives us every 9 seconds 10 gold, but then every, I believe, 20 seconds also is going to give us a pile of gold for which you need a worker to go there and pick it up. So the, the 10 every 9 seconds goes automatically and the rest you have to pick up. Now once we get, okay, we've got enough money so we can remove this chariot and start moving around in this area, which is important because it will allow us to fulfill our first goal, Olive Grove Plot. It's telling us right now. You already know about it because we are super fast. I seem to have noticed that I forgot to talk slower <laughs> lately. I, I made this video like yesterday and I had to record it like four times because there's always some problems with it. And then I was editing I was like, oops, I'm talking way too fast because I, I talk really fast when I'm a bit irritated. And then since I had to record it for like four times, like, oh, I kept saying the same things over and over. I was so confused. Like, did I said this already in this particular iteration of the video or not? Anyway, so yeah, it was super quick. Alright, uh, we need, what do we need? We need 60 stone. We can't really get stone, so this is gonna take a while, so we gotta start moving in this direction. It's important to notice, like, in which direction you gotta go, because... If you, but first of all, what can happen is you can get stuck. You might, like, use up your materials to rebuild, like, a bank, and you actually need it to rebuild a quarry or something like that, so that can happen. But the more common thing is that you're gonna be wasting your time trying to get in some direction when you actually need to go the other way. So we need to get the stone. Oh, where do we get the stone from, then? 
Okay, scratch it. Well, what I said is true, but apparently it wasn't the case in this particular example, because we got the stone from... We don't have a quarry. Oh, maybe... The... Oh, there's, there's a pile of stone. Okay, okay. <laughs> got a little lost there, but it's alright. It's alright. There's a lot of things you gotta focus on, okay? Alright, so we gotta go get this case of Jill's body. We can't actually get there until we remove this thing here. That's why they're gonna go there first. In the meantime, the other one should go and grab me some food. I always want to make sure that I have jobs set up for them, because if they're kind of wasting their time in the in the tent, it's not fun, you know? We are, we are on a schedule. We gotta do this quickly. And by schedule, I mean this time we're up here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Grab that fruit from the olive tree. The olive tree is, I've gotta say, it's like very rewarding. Like, imagine if your real life olive tree would give you this many olives. This often? That'd be amazing. Summon Artemis at the statue. She will hear you wherever she is. That's that's pretty fancy. We need 50 gold for that though, which we do not have. Do we need anything else? We need nothing else. Okay, okay. Thanks. I'm just trying to click around to see if there may maybe some more um, hidden objects like we had the barrels over here. I don't think there are in this particular map, but I'm not sure. Alright, go talk. Okay, we've got plenty of time. We don't need anything else, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's summon Artemis. Alright. Now, what I love about... Okay, later. Hi, Samstrom. Artemis, the goddess of hunting, forest, hills, and the moon. You are wise to summon me. Okay, watch it now. She is going to walk away and she's actually going to create the path off this level into the next one. Which, you know, the details like this make me really excited for this game. Also, like, I don't know if you noticed, but this wheel thingy thingy kept moving around every time it sort of was ready to give us uh, the next bunch of harvest. And I, th I think these little details make this game so much more exciting. I love that. Must be urgent if you need me while I'm on vacation. I don't know, gods get the vacation. Isn't it all their life a vacation? Come on. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, usually their stories are kind of terrifying, but you know. <laughs> you would think if they're a god, they don't need to have a job. I believe the prophecies of the Sibyls are coming true. I need your eagle eyes and sharp arrows. You must find the Stymphalian birds. I sense that they're close. So the prophecy is not fiction? Some hunters told me they find iron feathers in the forests. They were likely telling you the truth. I caught one myself. Ooh, the plot thickens. We found all the hidden objects, which makes me happy. Let me just see if I could uh, make this disappear. Uh, nope. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Apparently you get to see the frames per second. <laughs> and also the build number and all of that. Alright. Handcrafted weapons. Hephaestus Forge will provide you with everything you need for battle. Alright, it's time to get some weapons. Alright, let's go. Start moving around. Now, these stones, you usually need to click on them multiple times to be able to clear them. Because, um... Uh, sorry, these stones, not these. These ones. You can, essentially, they're gonna, like, mine the stones so they have, like, multiple attempts for it. See, I can click on it again, then we'll go. Let's remove these other stones as well. Do we have enough for the bank? Yes. So we're going to get a passive uh, gold income, which is very, very nice. And here we've got this column we need to remove. All right, what do we need to do? We need to repair the forge, which is up here. Then we need to... Oh, do we just, like, cannot do anything? Let's click on this. This is going to give us extra gold and allow us to move around, because I don't want to be just, like, waiting. Yeah, we're gonna go towards these stones next, and towards this gold, which is going to give us a lot of new sources of money. Then I want to move towards this olive grove plot to gain a passive source of food, because that's super important. Let's grab more gold there. Yeah, okay, that's ready. Now, this part, for this we need Artemis who is over there, so we don't actually need to hurry in this particular direction. I'm gonna remove the jack just to be ready, but then we wanna focus in this direction instead. I'd grab some more food, grab some more gold. Okay, yeah, Artemis, she's, they're telling us that she can create a path over here, which we don't need. Now, watch out for this groove, because I love the way the wheel thingy moves around. It's very, very cool. Now, we're going to need to grab the wood here, which we're going to need to repair this bridge. And also, later on, we want to click on this forge. Actually, I can do that right now. To fix it, which is going to give us a passive source of weapons. See? Just moved forward. Very, very cool. Beautiful. It's little things like this that make this game so cool. 
Now, if you see any more hidden barrels, let... Oh, oh, there's one more set there with food. We need 100 food. We still don't have enough for this uh, rope bridge. Got an achievement? Armed and very dangerous. <laughs> or something. You know what's cool about being a YouTuber? That you have to laugh at your own joke. It's like it's like a laugh track, right? Because otherwise, if you just say it, you know, people might not realize it was supposed to be a joke. But if you keep doing that, actually start finding yourself funny. So it's actually a good way to, I guess, increase their confidence about your jokes, even if they're terrible, because like you have to laugh. Otherwise, you know, it's not clear that it was a joke. So yeah. Anyways, uh, wow, we have a lot of time where our workers are not doing anything. I do not like that. I do not want them to have free time. That's not what they're here for. You gotta work all the time. I mean, if we have to. Alright, well, 40... F Ooh, okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Almost forget to harvest. But we should, yeah, okay, we can move now, we can go towards items. We have enough time, it's gonna be alright. We have plenty of time. You don't need to stress about things. Only a little bit. Why a little bit? He just said we don't need to stress, so I just poured myself a cup of tea. Because apparently I'm British. And... <laughs> what can... cannot not British people drink tea? No, everybody else drinks coffee, don't you know that? <laughs> I mean, obviously in these times... Oh, huh, you know, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> apparently everybody else who's not British is not allowed to drink tea, you know? That's what you learned today. <laughs> Not to mention there was no Great Britain in these times, but whatever. Whatever. Let's go here towards the chair. We need food and gold. We've got the food. Yes, we need a little bit more gold. I'll uh, make it with some time to spare. Uh, oh, we, we're gonna need a lot more weapons. We need 300 weapons for this. So, yeah, a lot of them. Uh, the, the stone. Where did I get the stone from? I'm not sure where I'm gonna get my stone for this. Oh, there's there's a little stone here. Okay, just just what we needed. Okay, okay, we're fine. Okay, now we can go. Now, great, plenty of time to spare. It was all good. We are now victorious. Let's call Ares. Hey man, we need help. Come on. Hi, Samstram, Ares, the god of war. A reliable and brave defender. Help people in difficult times. We'll fight together for the peace and prosperity of Greece. On it. Let's go. I'm gonna say I love how they introduce themselves. I mean, I just summoned you. Like, I don't need you to introduce myself. I should know who you are if I'm summoning you. On the other hand, you know, if you summon ghosts, it's probably a good idea if they tell you who they are, so, you know. Alright, when you help people and battle opponents increase the power of the gods, the further you progress, the more their power will increase. It's the amount of power they have acquired. We can use this to restore Acropolis, but not quite yet because we don't have enough points. So we need more power to be able to do it. So let's jump to level 3. Is that better be important? I was enjoying a championship battle in the arena. Do you know how much I paid for front row tickets? Why do you need to pay, man? You are a god. I have several reasons for believing the Sybil's prophecy are coming true, but Zeus doesn't want to hear about it. But Zeus doesn't want to hear about it. Call on everyone who can prove to him that this is actually happening. Is this a cruel joke? Are you kidding me? Tell me that's not true. I wouldn't joke when it comes to immor immortality. Come on, let's grab Apollo and go. All right, let's go. Go get ourselves another god, because apparently we need to get everybody, because Zeus, if Zeus is not on board, we gotta get everybody else. That's just how it goes. <laughs> to convince him, you know? <laughs> but I love how they're all just like immediately showing up, like, yep, you called, I'm here. Like, I'm ready. So, so that's, that's uh, you know, go friendship goals, or, you know, relationship goals too, every goals, family goals as well. It's just like, it's just great. Like, you know, just straight up there, on board, ready to go. Now, we can gain additional workers over here. In order to gain them, we need to give them jewels. So we're going to need to get over here or over here to be able to, you know, to, 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 to 
make them work for us. Now, in order to get here, we first need 60 gold and 40 food. Or 100 food to get over this bridge. And then, I think this is probably the quickest way. Do we have a bank? Something gives us money. Yes, bank is over here. We just need to repair it to get a source of money. And we should get the food soon and then we're gonna get one of these workers. It's really important to get the workers as soon as possible because then you get the most sort of benefit from them. Obviously, because they work for you the longest. All right, come on. 60 gold. Well, we're kind of waiting on gold. I cannot do anything now. This is very, very irritating. Come on. Let me do something. Okay, let's grab those stone materials at least. Okay, now we can do the 60 gold. And grab more gold here, and we're gonna go towards the case of jewels and give it to a brave worker number one. Okay, am I number two? I thought was, I was number one. Now he's number one. But how? Like, shouldn't you count from left to right? That's how people usually go about it. Nope. But, but, but I want an explanation. Be quiet, or you'll be worker number three. But there's no worker number two. How do how can I be worker number three? Well, because we don't bother with such lowly thing as math. <laughs> I actually love math, so that's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> oh, that hurt. It hurt to say that. Okay, we've got the jewels now, so we can grab him. Worker number one, don't rub it in, is in now. And we're gonna fix this forge to get more good stuff. Now these rounds, eh, we need a lot more gold for that. But we're gonna grab it because, because we want a worker number two. To go. You know, sometimes they say like, like you have worker number one and worker A, so that you know the other person doesn't feel disappointed, but you know, we don't really care how he feels. Because we're gonna give him money, so regardless how he feels about us, he's gonna work for us. That's just how it goes. Ours is a faithful ally in the fight against dark forces. Restore his chariot. Okay, okay, I'll do that. But first I need my brave worker. Are you saying that Ray Worker is more important than me, a god of war? I mean, kinda. Are you gonna help me carry out food and stone? Of course not, I'd never do such a lovely job. Okay, fine, I can be Worker number two if I'm better than Ares. That's actually kinda cool, I'm sorry for everything else I said and thought about you. I don't wanna know what you thought about me, man, don't tell me that. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm just very happy with you right now. Okay. Now, we gotta get this. We need a lot of weapons. Like, we are kind of waiting on weapons. Can we get him? Yeah, we can get him now. Good, 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 good. And we need wood, which we do not have. The wood is over here. So we need we need Ares, and then we're gonna get this Saturday, and we can get wood and move over in this area. We're also going to need a lot more food for this. So we should start grabbing it. Gold. I don't know. I don't know if I'll make it in time. I think so. Oh, we, we don't have weapons for this guy. Come on, give me all my weapons. Fruit. Ten more weapons what we need. Materials. Go, now. Alright, Ares is gonna go and take care of that, then we can get the wood and deal with this. In the meantime, let's just keep grabbing all the materials we can from all over the place. Have I found all the hidden barrels? I think I did. It was just like two of them. I think that was fine. I think it was alright, I'm not 100% sure. Then we're gonna need more weapons, which we're working on, and a lot of stone and gold. So we're gonna need to grab some... We do not need any more food, so we do not need to bother sending our people to grab some food, because we don't care about that. We just need gold and... And... Uh, actually, we don't need anything. I think we're just ready. As soon as we get rid of this guy. Also, watch how Ares convinces him. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> Great job, man. My thing is war and fighting. How else would I convince him? I don't know, threaten him? He should be really good at intimidation. You need to beat him up already. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Alright. I follow welcome to Samstra. I'm the god of medicine, healing, and radiance. I'm also the patron of arts and the leader of muses. You can call me Phoebe. <laughs> That's the only voice I have left, okay? I realize it's not the best voice for him, but you know, Zeus and Ares got the other male voices, so. <laughs> he gets what he gets. Alright, uh, we got kind of out of time. So, actually, but we can become the Acropolis, so let's do that. 
or so we can select a structure to restore it. So for example, if we restore a profilia, repair this to make Hermes work 10% faster. That's actually not bad. Make your workers work faster. Absolutely, let's do that. That would cost me 500 and have that. This one would cost me way more, okay. Anything I've got money for? No, okay. Yeah, in order to get these other upgrades, we've heard... What about this? If we're to make your workers run 5% faster, because this makes them move faster, that's good. So we can actually watch them rebuild this. Let's do that. Oh, they're very, very slow. Can we zoom in? We can. I love this guy who's like making a soup or a potion over here. Little deer there, rabbit. This game is very beautiful. I gotta say, I love the way it looks. Oh, butterflies. A lot of butterflies. Very, very nice. Come on, finish it, guys. What's taking you so long? Very, very nice. Ooh, Parthenon. Repair this to make Hermes run faster. Yeah, I think the workers running faster is probably the best thing that we could have gotten. Maybe them working faster might be even better, but I think the running is... They spend most of their time running. More than working, probably, because they have to carry the stuff all over the place. So I think the running is actually more beneficial. I want to see this building finish. Come on. They're almost there. Hurry up. <laughs> Can they finish it? Come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Level 1 Erechtum. Ooh, so we can upgrade it multiple times. That's actually really, really cool. Well, either way, I think this is a good time to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other games from, from all of our entertainment. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.